folks, we are here at Smithtown East High School, the Nick Schroeder Field. We've got the SJM Bulldogs facing off against the Middle Country team. This is an 11-year-old team coached by David Shaw. Just a few minutes from now, we'll be getting underway. Captains are meeting at the middle of the field, flipping coins, shaking hands, and picking sides. We'll be right back with the start of the game. So what did they said that we're the showcase team? What does that mean? Game is just about to get underway here. We've got a bright blue sky, warm sun, middle of the summer here. Today's the 15th of September, just about 1 p.m. start. Quarterback rolls out, pass is incomplete. That's quarterback Daniel Shaw. Second and 10 coming up for the Bulldogs. Two backs in the backfield. Pitch goes to our uh, defensive right. Tackle evaded, pickup of maybe three or four yards. Let's see where that gets spotted. That ball carry was uh, number 20, Cole German. Tina! Third and seven for the Bulldogs. Ball spotted on the 37, uh, 38 yard line. 30. Eight, looks like. Ball drops, covered up by number six, Dean Dukas. Sorry, that was Daniel Shaw that had covered that. Quarterback Daniel Shaw. Fourth and seven for the Bulldogs. They elect to punt. Kicker was number 82, Connor Barry. Ball rolls out and settles in around the 42-yard line. We'll be right back with the first defensive stand for the Bulldogs. Middle Country takes over with their first offensive possession. Ball is spotted on the 42. They're moving the ball from left to right. Quarterback hands up. Hands off ball, goes right up the middle, then breaks off tackle. Brought down after a pickup of about five. Second and five for Middle Country. Ball on the 47. Three backs in the backfield. Halfback gets tangled up, lunges forward, might have enough for a first down, and he does. Ball is spotted on the 52. Chains are moving. First and 10 for Middle Country, three backs in the backfield. Quarterback hands off to a halfback who is brought down after a pickup of two. Second down and six to go for the Generals. Quarterback hands off to a halfback. Tiptoes through the defense and picks up about three or four more yards. Third and three for the Middle Country team. Halfback is able to back his way into about the 40, excuse me, 36 yard line, which will move the chains again. First down coming up. First and 10 from the 36 yard line. Handoff goes to the offensive right. Spun around and brought down by the 30. Second and five for the Generals. Handoff goes up the middle. Tackle initiated by number six, Dean Dukas. Come on, Bulldogs, you got this! Third and less than a yard to go to the first down marker. Tap him! 
Running back, crosses line of scrimmage, breaks free, and will likely make it all the way into the end zone as he hurdles the end the goal line. Six points on the board for the Middle Country Generals. We'll be right back with a extra point attempt. Extra point attempt coming up for the Generals. Ball is spotted on the three. Pitch goes wide left. Halfback gets his way into the corner of the end zone. Adds the point. Present score, SJN Bulldogs zero. Middle Country General seven. First and ten for the SJN Bulldogs as they start a new series. Ball is spotted on the 35-yard line. They're carrying the ball from right to left. Pitch goes to the backfield. Running back is brought down back to the line of scrimmage. I'm hearing the ball might have popped out there. Looks like it did turn over. Yep, so uh, ball popped out on the tackle. That'll force a turnover. Middle Country will bring their, their offense back out on the field. We'll be right back with that. First and 10 for the Generals now. Ball still on a 35-yard line. They're carrying from left to right. Hands off inside to a fullback who makes his way up to the 30-yard line. Second and four yards to go. Quarterback keeps it. Cuts back and is brought down by number six, Dean Dukas. And number, sorry, I can't see. Is that a 53? 53, 83? 83, Sean Searing. Third and three here for the Generals. Quarterback hands off, ball sweeps to the right. He gets around the corner, is brought down by number 18, Gavin Pulis, and number six, Dean Dukas. After the previous play, we wrapped up the first quarter. As we enter the second quarter, the teams have flipped sides. Generals are now carrying the ball from right to left. Ball is spotted on the 13-yard line. It is a first down. Halfback goes up the middle, tries to get outside. Brought down by number 21. Justin Famagetti. Second and nine. Ball goes up the middle. He scampers through, is stopped right on the goal line. Let's see if that last lunge helps him. They picked up the first down, but not the touchdown. The ball will be spotted just shy of the goal line. First and goal for the Generals. Three backs in the backfield. Ball goes out. Oh, missed opportunity there. Generals recover their own fumble. Second and goal from the one. Handoff goes to 80, who tucks his way in underneath the tacklers. Touchdown, Generals. Six more points up on the scoreboard. Extra point attempt forthcoming. Ball is spotted on the three. Big forward push there from the Generals. They'll claim an extra point. After that touchdown, SJN takes over on their own 35-yard line. First and 10. Go, boys. Hands off, comes to the defense. 
defensive left, he breaks left, gets outside. Fights his way to the 44 yard line. Players got to get off of him. I mean, seriously. Ball was carried by number 20, Cole German. All right, we've got a first set of downs after that strong run by Cole German. First and 10 from the 45. Second and ten for the Bulldogs. Ball still on the 45. Come on, Bulldogs! Timeout called by the SJM Bulldogs. We'll be right back. Back from a timeout. We've got second and ten for the Bulldogs. Strong run up the middle, picks up two yards. Can't see who the ball carrier was. Come on, Bulldogs! Let's go, Bulldogs! Third and eight for the Bulldogs. Come on, Bulldogs! Pitch off to the defensive left. Gets Okay, so that was a horse collar call. Horse collar call against the defense there. Number 20 was the ball carrier. That'll probably be a 10 yard penalty and an automatic first down. We'll wait for that penalty to be assessed. Okay, there you go. From the mouth of the refs, it is indeed a horse collar call. 15-yard penalty. That'll grant a first down to the SJN Bulldogs. We'll be right back. Fresh set of downs here for the Bulldogs. First and 10 from the middle country, 40. Quarterback rolls out, passes upfield, incomplete. Second and 10 here. Ball still on the 40. Carry was number 20. Cole German makes his way up to the first down mark and picks up a fresh set of downs. First and 10 from the 30. Three backs in the backfield. Running back number 18, Gavin Poulis, is wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. No gain. After the previous play, we've been alerted there are 2 minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Second and 11 coming up. Quarterback hands off the German off the left side. He makes his way up to about the 35 before being stopped for a, about a, sorry, 25 for about a 6-yard pickup. Third and seven coming up. Important third down attempt here. Big tackle in the backfield by a defensive end, number 85. That results in a about three yard loss. Fourth and 10 for the Bulldogs coming up here. Ball was spotted back on the 30. Time ticking down here in the second quarter. This is a running clock at this age group, so quarterback keeps. Passes upfield. Pass is incomplete. That would result in a turnover. I'm not sure where the clock is. I think they're calling that the end of the quarter. We're entering the half. 
We'll be back Enjoy. after some entertainment by somebody for our halftime show. <laughs> All right, as we come back from the halftime break, I'd like to thank you for joining us here on YouTube at the Red Wolf Video Productions channel. First and ten coming up for the bull, uh, excuse me, the generals. Ball goes up the middle, carry for two yards. I think that tackle was made by Dean Dukas. Second and eight for the generals. Hands off to the big back. Flag on the play. Running back breaks free. Oops, oops, sorry. He made it all the way to the end zone, but that'll likely come back on a holding call. We'll be right back with that. As predicted, that touchdown was called back on a holding penalty. Uh, that put the Generals back 10 yards. Ball is currently spotted on the 27-yard line, so they've got first and about 17 to go. Long run breaks to the outside. We're off to the races again. He cuts back in field. Tackle is made at 30. Stop the touchdown there. <clears throat> First and ten for the Generals. Ball is spotted on the 29 yard line. Minor personnel changes. Looks like number 35, Jaden Contave, just joined the field there. Ball goes up the middle. Brought down after a pickup of two. Second and nine. Handoff goes to the backfield. Number 34 carries. Brought down by number five. Junda Men, I think Let's was from that tackle. Third and six to go for the Generals here. And off in the backfield, 84 goes off tackle. Gets brought down at around a 20 yard line. Might have had enough for the first down. Let's wait to see where they spot that. I have so much cancer in my family, I just. It is spotted on the 20. That's not enough for the first down. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and less than a yard to go for the Generals. Desperately seeking to move the chains. Number 84 goes off to the right side. Makes it to the marker. They'll move the chains first down. First and 10 from the 16. Hands off to 34 who breaks the tackle, lunges forward and picks up another two or three yards. Second and three for the Generals. I believe the previous tackle was initiated by number 23, Miles Sachs. Early flag, stop a play. Probably false start. False start on the offense. That'll back him up five yards. We'll be right back after the penalty is assessed. After the penalty backs him up five yards, ball was spotted on the 15 yard line. Running back goes off left tackle, carries back up to the 10. Ball was spotted on the 11. We've got third down coming up. Four yards to go. Pitch goes wide left. 34 breaks tackles. He's brought down around the five. That'll move the chains. Bring up first and goal. First and goal from the six yard line. Generals are threatening to score again here. 
Hand off to number 80, who slides through a seam, makes his way up to the two yard line. Second and goal from the two. Hand off to number 80, he gets wrapped up in the backfield. Brought down, no gain. Third down coming up. All right, we just came back from the break between the third and fourth quarter. They were about to start play, and the Generals have called another timeout, so we'll be right back. I believe it's third down. I can't see the marker from here, but I believe it's third down and two. Quarterback drops back to pass. Pass looks like it hit the ground. Oh, that's not a good call, ref. Not a good call at all. That looked like it hit the ground for sure. But they're giving it to him as a touchdown, so that'll be six more points for the Middle Country team. An extra point conversion coming up. Extra point attempt coming up. Quarterback hands off. Running back is brought down in the backfield. No extra point. That will keep the score at 20 zip. First down for the SJN Bulldogs. The ball is spotted on their own 35 yard line. They are carrying the ball from right to left here in the fourth quarter. With a score of 20 to nothing, it results in a modified defense, which they are now putting the children in. One of the primary things here is that the starting offensive backs will have to come off the field when the middle country team takes the field again. On defense, the ends have to be out five yards. You'll see number 14 or 74. It's 14. You'll see how wide he is right now. They also can only have two linebackers and their safety package has to be 10 yards plus off the line of scrimmage. German carrying here, dodging. Lots of running, not a lot of gains. Ball stays at the, at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten here for the Bulldogs. Slight loss of yardage on the previous play. Three backs in the backfield. Quarterback hands off. Running back is gobbled up in the backfield for a three or four yard loss. Third and 14 for the Bulldogs. Running back makes it up to about the 40 for a nine yard gain, shoestring tackle. Running back on the play was number 20, Cole German. Fourth and five. For the Bulldogs, a uh, pre-snap whistle blown. That is likely Checking the clock, which I think is going to be made pretty short right now. <laughs> we'll be right back. Fourth down, five to go. Quarterback keeps, rolls out. Looks for room to run. Gets tripped up around the 41. That's not going to be enough for a first down. That'll be a turnover on downs. First down for the Generals on the 43. First and 10 for the Generals on the SJN 43-yard line. 
There were a couple of timeouts called, which is kind of slow on the pace of play here. Three backs in the backfield. Those backs should not be the starting backfield. I cannot see their number, so I can't tell from here. Handoff to the back, who carries about five yards, maybe four. Second and about five. Ball is spotted on the 43. Hands off to the back in the backfield. He gets brought down just around the line of scrimmage. Maybe a pickup of one yard. Third and three for the Generals. Running back goes up the middle. Number 54 breaks a tackle. He's off to the races. And we'll go all the way into the end zone, tacking six more points on. Present score, Middle Country 26. SJN still at zero. We'll be right back with their extra point attempt. Extra point attempt coming up. The ball is spotted on the three. Three backs in the backfield. Sweeps way outside to the right, makes his way into the end zone. Sorry, I panned a little bit too far, but you still should have got that. That brings the score to 27. And we'll be right back with whatever comes next. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Ball is spotted on their own 35-yard line. Early whistle. Okay, we're back at first and 10. Ball's on the 35. Two backs in the backfield. Ball gets fumbled out, recovered by the Generals. All right, after that last play, time did expire. That'll be the end of this game here. Thank you for joining us here at Red Wolf Video Productions. Be sure to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell so you're notified whenever we put up new highlight reels and full games. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you back here next week.